Besides being one of the staples in the drum industry, Ludwig is also one of the oldest brands. And in this video, I'm going to show you the one snare drum that commemorated their 95th anniversary. What is going on everybody, Nick Costa here. And in this video, I am going to show you one drum that I am super proud to have in my collection, which is the Ludwig L2004 95th anniversary snare drum. This was a drum that was made to commemorate Ludwig's 95th anniversary in 2004. Now, before we dive into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you're notified of any additional content that I upload to the channel. Now, before I dive into the specs of this snare drum, I have to give a huge shout out to my buddy Brandon over at Philadelphia Drums and Percussion. This was a drum that showed up in his shop and luckily I was able to see it right away and get over there as fast as possible to be able to pick it up. But if you are ever in search of any drum gear, make sure that you do hit him up at phillydrum.com or to make it a little bit easier for you, I put a link in the description below. All right, so let's dive into the specs of this snare drum. What makes it unique compared to other wood snare drums that Ludwig has released is that it is a steam bent solid maple shell with maple reinforcement rings. If you're unfamiliar about steam bent solids, it is one piece of wood that is steam bent and put together into a shell. That means the only glue that is on this shell is to put the two ends together as well as glue in the re-rings. Let's talk about steam bent solid shells for a second. Since there is really minimal glue, mainly just to put the joint together as well as your re-rings in, this allows the drums to be pretty resonant, especially compared to plywood drums or stave drums. Now some folks say that stave drums are solid shells as well. There's a whole lot more glue involved and usually those shells are thicker, so they're not as resonant you'll hear that they're pretty direct and punchy. Since steam bent solid shells can be milled down to a thinner shell, like say a plywood shell, you're gonna get more resonance out of them. Also, because there isn't a bunch of glue between the plies, this not only allows the shell to be more resonant, but as you continue to crank it up and get it higher in pitch, it's not gonna choke out as fast. Also, they can be pretty loud. Now this drum has brass single flange hoops on the top and the bottom, so it looks like the Ludwig drums from the 1920s. Now to complete the look, this drum also has 10 brass tube lugs as well as die cast claw hooks, so that way you can have some tension applied to the hoops on the top and the bottom. Finally, this drum is equipped with a P86 Millennium throw-off and a P33 butt plate, both in a brass finish. Now with the P86 throw-off, unlike other throw-offs where the snare tension is actually adjustable on the top, this is adjustable in the middle. Now the finish of this drum is a cherry stain with a lacquer coating over top of it. On one side of the shell, you have a limited edition badge with William Ludwig II signature on it, as well as the number of the drum. This one in particular is number four out of 100 that were made. Now what's unique about this drum is that it came from the factory with a Remo Renaissance head. Now the snare side head is a Ludwig Weathermaster resonant head. What's really cool about this drum is that if you actually flip it over, you can see that there are three signatures from the Ludwig family on the inside. William Ludwig III, the chief, also known as William Ludwig II, and Peggy Ludwig. Now, when I grabbed this drum, you could see that if it was played, it may have been tapped once or twice. I couldn't really see any stick marks on the top head. I did see a couple imperfections on the top hoop, maybe from rim shots, but they were actually pretty minimal. Now, when it comes to a commemorative or a collective drum like this one, there's usually two sides of the spectrum. Those that just kind of hold on to it and never play it and then those who play it. It's almost like people who collect cars, and I am somebody who would like to actually drive and enjoy it or play it. So in this video, I am going to give you a demo and play this drum so you can hear exactly what it sounds like. Now, just like every other video where I demo a snare drum, I'm gonna go through a few different tuning options. That way you can hear the versatility of the drum and decide what sound you like the most. So enough of me talking, let's dive into playing.
there you have it, the Ludwig L2004 95th anniversary commemorative snare drum. Now I would love to get your feedback on what you think of this drum, so make sure you leave it in the comment section below letting me know. And if you have any other additional questions on this drum, feel free to leave them in the comment section below as well and I'll try my best to answer them. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. That way it makes it a little bit easier for others to find it. Now, one final thing, this video is part of the Snare Saturday series that I just recently started. There's a playlist in the description below that you can start seeing all of the snare drums that are part of this series and it will be continually updated every Saturday. And that is it. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got something out of it. And until next time, See you later.